In today's quick Pro Tools tutorial, we're going to show you how to speed up your workflow by starting your Pro Tools session off with a custom template. Now, normally when you start a new blank session in Pro Tools, it's just that, blank. There are no tracks in the edit or mix window. You then go about starting the process of creating the tracks that you need. Now, if you find that you're in a situation where you're creating the same tracks over and over again to get started, I think it's time to start using a template. For my example today, I'm going to use tracking a band. There's a lot of similar setup that happens every time when we go to set up our Pro Tools session. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to close this session out, and let me open up an example of a session layout for tracking a band. If you look over, I'm going to have individual tracks for drums, bass, electric guitar, acoustic guitar, piano, vocal, click, master channels, buses, sends, everything grouped, everything named, everything color-coded, inputs and outputs set up, panning set up, basic volume in place, sends already set up internally, effects channels wired up, everything is ready to go. This takes time. Since this is going to be my starting point for most sessions, I would like to have Pro Tools give me the option to start off like this. Now Pro Tools gives you the option for starting off with templates. When you go to create a brand new session, you're going to find that you can create from template. It has its own groups, broken into styles of music, different functions, different interfaces and controllers. But I find that most of these templates are a good starting point for a generic session, but not mine in particular. So what I'd like to do is save my own. When I take this session and I'm going to go down under File and I'm going to do Save as Template. Once you do that, you're going to see this Install Template and System option. These are categories that we just saw in the generic setup. Now I'm going to go in and create my own category just for organization. And I'm going to name this template something more specific for what we're doing today. Now I'm going to make sure it stays in the system so I can have it when I first get to the dashboard in that dialog box. I'm not going to put it into another location at this time. I'm also going to make sure not to click on Include Media as I do not want any other audio or MIDI files from anyone else's session to get into this one. Currently, right now, I have none because I'm starting from scratch. Click OK. I'm going to close this session out. And now when I go to make a brand new session and I look under the Create from Template option, having checkmarked that, I'm going to see my own grouping. I'm going to see the template that I created with its title. I'm still going to be able to pick sample rate, file type, and bit depth for my new sessions. I'm going to name this one And as you take a look, we open up our brand new session, and now the starting point is exactly the way that I want it in order to get started. When you find yourself creating the same tracks and layout over and over again to get started, please speed up your workflow. Use the template option so you can spend more time working on the music.